Hello everyone and welcome back to Quick Save TV. Today we're gonna take a look at the lore in Skyrim by taking a look at one of its books. Specifically, we're gonna read today Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim. Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim by Lantulus and Ventus, Order of the Horn. I had heard the same rumors as everyone else that the province of Skyrim was awash with various forms of lycanthropy. I had studied werewolves for some time, and was keen to see if these rumors of werewolves were actually sustained. Substa substantiated, I'm sorry. I elected to pursue these studies in the warmer summer months, in difference to my fragile constitution. One quickly finds that common villagers are of practically no use in this land. Whereas in Cyrodiil, even the youngest child can tell you the true fauna that inhabit the its environs, here I found alleged wise men recounting tales of unicorns and flying horses directly alongside their stories of warbears, so I don't put any stock in their rumors. They certainly have their traditions for warding off warbears, certain plans and ceremonies, but nobody can arrest Nobody can attest, I'm sorry, to even having seen one firsthand, much less possess any sort of artifact. Everyone has a cousin or a friend who saw one once, but when pressed, these stories fall apart. I don't wish to completely discount these stories, but I also must conclude that they may have spun out of some wild tell retelling of a particularly vicious but mundane bear. Legends can take a life of their own, particularly when they when there are grains of truth, as here we have the very real threat of werewolves. I worry that by spreading stories of a potentially false, or at least rare beast, people may begin to discount the threat that real beasts pose. But if Skyrim's people choose to lead a backwards life, shrieking of sh at shadows and clouds, I will not stop them. The werewolves at this land are a curious sort, at least the legends of them. Given the Nord, flair for bravado, I had expected to see a werewolf pelt sliding walls in the cities, werewolf heads on pikes, that sort of gaudy show. Instead, few people in civilized society ever mentioned them, and my questions were usually met with nervous stares. Thinking that perhaps the common talk the common folk, excuse me, were simply more cowardly than I had been led to believe by my Nordic acquaintances in Cyrodiil, I sought out those known for actual bravery. The supposedly fearless warrior band of Whiterun, the Companions, lost all color when I broached, bro broached the subject and asked me to leave. I had thought better of them and was disappointed at how quickly brave men and women can be intimidated by stories. Pressing into the wilderness, away from any sort of settlement, I would often find hunters willing to recount stories of their kills. It was finally through one of them, a certain, a certain Rarsten Hummer, Hummerback, that I heard my first and unfortunately only verifiable stories of werewolves in the province, accompanied by pelts and claws to provide the killing. Just as I was thrilling to finding some actual evidence of the local beasts, he got a wild conspiracy conspiratorial look in his eyes and began spinning tales of some band of werewolf hunters and their exploits in hunting down the creatures. I left him to mop his drool and continued my journeys. In the end, I regret that my trip to Skyrim did not prove more productive. It is indeed true that their breeds of lycanthropes are distinct from and more powerful than our local ones. They could prove to be powerful allies in our conflict against the influx of werewolves in Wallenfood. If they have grown as great and terrible as my friend Galian asserts, they could soon threaten the interior of Tamriel. When the summer next crests, I plan to travel there for a better accounting of the winged cretines, so that I may make more fitting report to the council. That was the book. Yes, indeed, it's hard to find proof of any lycanthropes in this country. So hard, in fact, that situation like this might actually not actually happen all that often. Uh. 
Hard to judge nowadays. A true word from a rumor, huh? As always, I thank you very much for joining me, thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead, like, subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed the content. Stay more for Lore of the Skyrim and additional videos about game mechanics. Thank you very much, have a great day and bye bye.